Oh, hi there. Welcome to uh, part of my weather station here, which is this thermometer. And of course, in class, we've been looking at uh, how to create our own weather stations. And this thermometer is certainly part of my weather station. And uh, it was really interesting because uh, my neighbor, just to, uh, right next to us, um, installed a uh, weather station yesterday, and uh, which I thought was kind of cool. And I'll show you that in a bit. Um, but I'll, I have a couple questions that you guys have to answer related to, uh, to weather stations. So, uh, hey, stick around. So here's my neighbor's weather station um, with a wind speed indicator and rain gauge and all that uh, information actually gets transmitted into our house which is kind of cool. Pretty fancy weather station compared to uh, what we're kind of used to but, uh, but really neat. Okay, now we're sort of in my back or front yard, whatever you uh, might think uh, it is in this neck of the woods. And uh, I have a couple other instruments. Here's my uh, rain gauge, like we saw with my neighbor Deborah there. Hers was quite uh, intricate. This one is pretty simple. We made them in class the other day. And of course, I have my, uh, my water line starting at zero every day. So I'll dump a little bit out, and then I make sure that that water line starts at zero. Uh, I also use as part of my uh, weather station not <clears throat> not only the thermometer, the rain, ga rain gauge, but I have a wind speed um, indicator. Uh, this one's pretty fancy. The ones we made in school are, are not so fancy, and uh, this basically moves a ball up and down, indicating the speed of uh, of the wind. And I know uh, that north is roughly there because the sun comes up there. Uh, so I don't even have to use a compass when I uh, when I try and figure out uh, which direction the uh, the wind is coming from. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have a barometer right now. Um, I lent my uh, barometer to somebody, so um, but I can check the uh, Environment Canada website, weatheroffice.com, for all the information. Now this is my question. I want you guys to answer for the week, or the task I have for you guys for this week is um, I want you to monitor the air pressure. Um, the temperature and the humidity and see based on if it's a really nice day, if it's a dreary day, uh, if you can detect any patterns between those three things. And if you can detect anything uh, when the weather changes, what happens to the pressure? Okay, so if we go from really ugly weather to really nice weather, what happens to that pressure? Okay, so uh, humidity, uh, air pressure, uh, the tendency that is, is it going up, is it going down? and temperature. Um, look at those for the Monday to Friday and then uh, we'll come back next Monday and see what we have. Uh, and you can certainly blog throughout the week uh, some of your results. Okay, best of luck.